And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. going on YouTube in today's video I'll be showing you guys part two of wiring up my power fold and LED mirrors on the Yukon so if you want to check that out make sure you stay tuned also if you haven't watched part one I'll go ahead and link it on top of the screen but on this video right here we'll be focusing on wiring up the actual mirrors to the switch right here so that we can go ahead and close them and open them up whenever we want to but I am thinking about doing a third upgrade so a part three on this video to where I can have them hooked up on my alarm so whenever I lock the truck the mirrors will powerful by themselves just how i have it on the silverado but you guys let me know down below in the comments if you want to see something like that and if you're ready to wire up these mirrors let's get to it all right so here's some of the things that we'll need to do the power folding mirrors as well as the led to get it all set up but you won't need exactly everything that i have here but i'm just going to give you like some options you know of what you can use or you know what you don't have to use um it's not that bad uh <laughs> But other than that, I mean, I'll go ahead and start off with the actual relays right here. As you can tell, you don't need both of them, but this is just one setup and then this would be a different setup. They're both easy to use. I would actually recommend you to use this one, which is by DEI, it's a 451M. It's already pre-wired and it comes with a fuse and everything, except that I'm not gonna be using it because this was the older one that I had and it's already cut up and I really don't wanna extend the wires right now but they're pretty much gonna be the same color codes as this setup right here, which is a universal like dual relay socket. And then you purchase the separate two relays and then you can fuse it if you want to, or just run it like that. But I mean, I'll fuse it myself. But like I said, this one right here will already come with the fuse. And also it's a smaller setup. It's like a micro relay, as you can tell, it's smaller in comparison, you know, versus all this. So, that's the two different setups right there as far as the relay harness. But like I said, I would probably do this. But in my case today, I'm not gonna use this, but I'll save it for another time and I'll be using this one. But the color codes are pretty much gonna be the same. Like I said, it's already cut up. And then the colors over here, you can see they're a little bit different. They're, they're pretty much the same though, except for the black stripe. So the white wire, the brown wire, the purple wire, and green, I mean blue and green. And then here you can see the other three thin wires, the light green, red, and blue. Except that since this is new, you know, it's all together. They usually come with this end piece at the bottom, but you know, we don't need it, so we're gonna cut it off. And like I said, this is what I'll be using right here, but you can use either this or this one. Either one will work. Right? Also, we will need a separate switch, an aftermarket switch right here. So it'll be a rocker toggle switch. That way, whenever you press on it, it'll go back to center. So you can do the close and open of the mirrors. And on the back of it, it'll have three pins right here. And this one is a square switch, but you can also use round ones. I would actually recommend you doing a round switch because it's easier, you know, whenever you mount it to drill the hole. But since I have this, I'm gonna use this today. And I've already cut out the hole in my dash, so I'm gonna be putting it right over here. So mine's will be pretty much right here. Like I said, I already cut out the hole, so. That's what it looks like right there. And you can mount them in any location that you want, you know, anywhere in the dash right here. Some people have space over here or there might be a blank spot in this area. I already had another aftermarket switch, so that's why I just decided to use this spot right here since I already had a hole from before. And, you know, I didn't want to make any extra holes, but that's how it looks like right there. And then also you'll need some connectors just like these. And I'll have them all in the description below. And that way I can do it like detachable. So, you know, if anything needs to be serviced or on making it easier on the install to disassemble. But other than that, you will need some wiring for the system. And I have just like a roll right here. You don't have to have that much wire, but I just have this. And it'll just be like a four set of wires. This is like an RGB setup because they don't have to be super thick. And then you just cut them to length, but that'll be pretty much right there. Other than that, I mean, you can do crimps. You know, you can do little connectors like these for the spade terminals right here. Or you can solder them directly like I will, and I'll be showing you that, of course. But other than that, I'll be using solder to solder my connections. And for the last part, we will need two separate diodes right here. They're one amp diodes, as you can see, they're very small. And 
they're not required but i would suggest putting them that way you can protect your bcm because we are going to be tapping into the bcm and you don't want anything to mess up so i would recommend putting these or a fuse all right so i went ahead and started off with the switch right here and as you can see i already soldered the wire so it has a three pin right in the middle is going to be the black wire because this is going to be the ground and then the very left and right don't really matter you can put them wherever it doesn't really matter and i'm using red and yellow because this is a three pin connector as you can see right here but if you're using the five pin connector all you got to do is like i said use three colors so if you want to copy me and use the same colors then you would just cut off these green and blue and then you would just be left over with the three or you can you know use whichever color you want but that's what I'm using right there because I have the three pin and then I have some five pins. But for the switch, I only need three pins, so that's a, that's the one I'm gonna use right there. But that's pretty much what it'll look like right there once you have it all soldered up or have the butt connectors on it. And also the reason I'm doing it is so that that way I can detach my dashboard because as you can tell, this does come off, and if I ever have to mess with it, then it'll be harder on me. So depending on where you're doing it, but I would still recommend doing this right here. Now that we have the switch all wired up to the plug and play harness, the other side of the harness that goes here will get wired up to the relay. So this three wire right here will plug up in here. So what I'll be doing on this part right here is we're gonna be joining this black ground wire to this red wire right here. They're gonna be ground, but even though it's a red color, it doesn't matter. So they're gonna be together. And then the red and the yellow will go to the green and the blue. So let me show you right now when I hook it up real quick. I went ahead and soldered my wires right here. So if you notice, like I said, the black will go to this red and then the blue and green wire will go to the remaining red and yellow wires from this pigtail right here. And they don't matter on the order. The only one that does matter is gonna be that middle black one, which is gonna go to this red. So that's your ground right there. You gotta make sure those are the right ones right there. And then we're gonna follow this right here and modify it at the end of it where they meet up right here we're gonna be cutting up this red wire in half because we're gonna be doing it to a ground so that's what we're gonna modify it. but let me close this up right now I'm gonna tape it up and probably end the tape around here and then I'll show you how I cut that piece all right for this next part right here as you can tell I already finished up taping up my switch harness and then here's the other wire that I was talking about this thin uh, red wire right here we're gonna be cutting it in half and hooking half of it to the purple wire and then the other half to this brown wire or you can also hook it up to the white wire because they're both going to be grounded this brown and white are going to be brown and then this purple one will be the 12 volt wire and as you can see i've already soldered my fuse holder right here but if you if you're using the 451m you don't have to do that as far as the fuse because it's already built into it but that's why i added mine just externally so let me go ahead and cut this wire right here you need to cut it. Cut it. Cut. So we're gonna be cutting it like around here. That should be good. And so I'll be joining this this side to the purple wire right here. On the back of the relay. And then the other red wire right here, this side. We'll be going to the brown wire that so let me join those two right now and i'll show you how it looks like okay, i went ahead and soldered them together already so like i said the thin red wire from the side of the switch from this side to the brown wire and then the relay side where we had cut that thin red wire onto the purple wire so this is going to be the 12 volt side and then this is gonna be one of the grounds. So let me put some tape on these and then show you the next step right here. Now that I have these taped up, as you can tell right here, I'm gonna be taping up these two wires together so that that way they're not just loose and hanging. And this is gonna be going to a ground. So for that, you can either put a ground terminal on both of them joined together, you know, like a bigger size ground or you can even do individual grounds if you want to, but I would just suggest doing one. And actually we're still gonna need two more grounds for the power mirrors themselves. 
So I'm not gonna ground them right now or crimp this together right now. I'm just gonna tape them up so that that way they can end up in one place and I'll crimp all four wires at the same spot. Or I might do this ground terminal and then the mirrors themselves with a separate smaller ground terminal. So now, we'll, like I said, we'll tape up these two wires together and then that'll be the ground right there. Here you can see I went ahead and taped up my ground right here. Like I said, the brown and white. And then I've already installed my relays into the socket. These are just, you know, like plug and play right there. But if you're doing the 451M, then like this one right here, like I said, you don't have to do that. But I'm doing it because, you know, I'm using this relay harness. And if you're using this one, that's what it'll look like as well. And now for the next part right here, we're gonna be taping up this two wires together as well, just like this. So the green and blue, and these are gonna be for the mirror. So we're gonna tape these down. And then I'm also gonna tape up the purple right here just to clean it up and that way you don't see the color. And you know, I like doing that so it looks more factory. So let me do that real quick. All right guys, as you can see, it's all taped up. And to me, it looks a little bit better, you know, a little bit less confusing, but let me know what you think down below in the comments. And like I said, I mean, I taped it all up and I taped up the grounds going up in here because I will be um, grounding it at the top. So whenever I do the ground, I'm doing it like that. But I left it open because I still have to do, like I said, the two mirror grounds, but that's what it looks like right there. The other two wires are here, the blue and the green, which are gonna be for the power mirrors to fold and open. And then the switch wire is going right there. And then this is the actual 12 volt wire right here. The relay harness is a little bit more cleaned up. I can go ahead and start wiring up the mirrors and making the plugs so that it can also hook up on this section and the ground. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. For the next part right here, we're gonna be working on the driver's side mirror right here. And we're gonna be making the quick connector right here. So that way it'll be just like the factory. You can unplug the mirror if you need to service anything like that. And also making it easier to do the wiring. So the wiring will be short just like this up to here. So we'll be cutting that and we'll be putting this connector right on this side. And make sure it has the, the little end cap just like this, the locking tab. So whenever we do the actual part that goes through the boot will be easier, which will be this side right here. Because you don't want to actually, you know, pass this through the boot, it's going to be harder. So that this will go on the car side right here. So this is what I'm talking about right here. Whenever we run the wires, they're gonna have to go through this boot right here, the factory boot, that way you don't see no wiring. And that's why we'll use this as that side so that the little cap won't get stuck through there. So here you can see I'm starting off with the LED wiring and it's hooked up on my battery. And I'll post up the picture of the diagram as well. But in my case, the brown and black stripe wire is gonna be my negative. And then the gray with the black stripe is my positive. And I'll be hooking up that to this uh, connector right here. I did cut off the yellow wire because all we need is gonna be four wires, so not five. And the red and the black will be for the LED. And then for the folding mirror, it's gonna be the green and the blue. So these two right here, and then red and black for the LED. So let me cut those short right here, and I'll hook them up and I'll show you right now. All right, so I got these hooked up already. As you can see, they're soldered, so my black negative is gonna go to the brown and with the black stripe in my case. And then on the positive side, it's gonna be the red with the gray and black stripe in my case. So that's what it looks like right there. And then now we just have left over the two power folding mirror wires, which, which are gonna be the blue and the green wire. And in my case, these are the wires right here, so gray and brown. And I'll test them out on the battery right here just to make sure which one is open and closed. So on this battery, the left side is gonna be the negative and then the right side is the positive. So I'll do, let's say brown here and then gray on the positive side. So that's closed right there. And then if I flip them around, then gray would be negative and then the positive would go on brown that'll do the open so what i'll do to wire them both the same i'll do just how i did right now as the open so it was positive for brown and then negative was the gray so i'll do positive green and then negative on the dark blue right here 
and I'll wire them both up the same. That way, whenever you know the switch closes, they both close and they both open at the same time, so that way they're not off track. So let me go ahead and hook those up right there. So I got them wired up right here, and this is what it looks like right now. They're already heat shrinked and everything. So like I said, the mirrors I wired up to where green was the positive and the blue was negative whenever the mirror opens. So the brown wire was going to the actual green and then the gray wire is going to the blue. And then we'll also test them out just to make sure that they're getting wired up correctly. But if you have them reversed, all you gotta do is flip the wires around. As long as you're following the pin guide to the color code, then you should be good. All right, next up, I'll be wiring up the passenger side LED. As you can see, I already have it on. And just make sure you're following the diagram so you know which ones are your colors. But in my case, my negative is gonna be the brown with the white stripe. And then the gray with the black stripe is gonna be my positive. So I'll be hooking up the negative, which is gonna be the black right here, to the brown with the white stripe. And then my positive red to the gray with the black stripe. So let me go ahead and cut these real quick and join them right here. So I went ahead and soldered them up and this is what they look like right now. And now I can go ahead and do the actual folding part. And if you remember, we did the positive on the green wire to open the mirror and we'll match that on this one so they both open and close at the same time. But in my case, my colors are gonna be the brown and the gray wire to do the open and close of the mirrors. And to have them set up the same way as that one, I'll be having to put the gray wire on the negative side and the brown wire on the positive side to open the mirror. And I'll go ahead and test that out right now just to make sure that it's good. All right, so there you can see it opened it up. So that means, you know, like I'll be putting this brown wire on the green side of the connector and the gray one on the blue one. So let me go ahead and cut them and solder them real quick. So here they are all soldered up. So let me just tape these up, clean them up, and I'll show you how to test them out. All right, if you wanna test them out just to make sure that they're all good, you can plug in their other side of the connector, just how I did right here, and then, you know, connect them together, both blues, both greens, both reds, and both blacks. So to test out the mirrors, like, I'll go ahead and do the blue on the negative, and we'll do green on positive. If you remember, that, that'll open the mirror right there, so if I do that, I should open both at the same time. And there you can see they both work right there. And if I reverse the polarity, then it'll close them. So I'll move this over to the positive and then this side to the negative. And there you can see they're both working. And then on the LED, of course, your red is gonna be the positive and then your black is negative. So that should make it light up. So that's pretty much it right there on how to test them. So let's go ahead and do the actual wiring on the rest of the relay. All right, for the next part on the relay, since I'm making this kit, you know, on my truck to be detachable. So if I have to service the mirrors or anything like that, or if anybody needs to do any work in there, then I don't want them to cut the wires, you know? Gator don't play no shit. You, you feel me? So I'm gonna go ahead and do the extensions and that, that's also why I'm doing these connectors. But to do that, I'm gonna have to do extensions. So that's why these are short from the factory. And what I'm gonna have to do is do two five feet extensions, like these right here. So that'll be one, the driver's side, and then the passenger side, they'll be the same. And at the ends, they do have to have the threaded side, just like this, because if you remember, the mirrors themselves have the caps on them, which will lock it in place. So you'll have to do two five feet extensions, just like this, and that'll get you to the door and to the kick panel or right above the kick panel. That way it can be detached just like the factory. So you'll need two of those. And then on the relay part right over here, you will need two separate wires right here. And there'll be a smaller one because this one's gonna be closer to the driver's side. And this one's gonna be two and a half feet. And then this one right here is gonna be going to the passenger side, which is the longer one. And that one's gonna be a uh, seven feet. So just remember, they'll have to have the ends just like this because they're gonna lock up to the other ends. So that's what they look like right there. And then I just left this color open right here because this is what we're gonna wire up to the relay. And the same as the on this side right here. 
So just make sure you have those connections right there. And if you don't want to do that, you can also just run, you know, a long wire. But to me, it's a little bit harder because then whenever you have to service it, you're going to have to cut them or, you know, it might be difficult to take it apart. Yeah, never, never been about playing no shit. And whenever you're doing your extensions, just make sure that you're following the right colors. They're pretty much the same color. It's just extended with um, RGB wire or, you know, whatever wire you're using. But in my case right here, as you can see, I have the same colors except for the black. I have a white. So I'll be putting black into the white wire. So just make sure, like I said, on your colors. But it should be pretty much the same as the plug. It's just an extension. You're just making it long to get to the relay. So I went ahead and connected my extensions that I had made earlier already. So this is the driver's side right here. As you can tell, it's shorter. And it's coming down to the wiring down here. And then the passenger side, which is longer right there. That's gonna be, you know, the longer side. But they're all getting joined up together right down here, which we're gonna join up to the relay right there. But right here at the end, I did go ahead and tape up the colors together. So the two blues together, the two green together. And these are gonna be doing the open and close of the mirror, so that's why they're, you know, parallel to each other. And that way they do the same thing at the same time. And then on the two red wires, they are, they're gonna be separate because they're gonna be the turn signals. So, also if you do notice, I did go ahead and add the diodes in them already. And whenever you do your diodes, they'll look like this. So they'll have a stripe. If you notice it, it's gonna be on the left side, it's a very small stripe. So just make sure where it is. And that's gonna be facing towards the red side of the wire right here. So on the mirror side, and then on the car side, it'll be, you know, the extra slack right here, which I added different colors. I added a light blue and a dark blue because these are the colors that we're gonna tap into the truck to do the turn signal. So the light blue is gonna be for the left turn signal. And then the right is gonna be the dark blue right here. So that's why they're like that but that's what they look like and i'm just gonna have to tape them up right there other than that i mean you can use different colors but i just wanted to use the same color so that way you know it can be a little bit more color coded and then the two white wires right here are also taped together because they're going to be grounded the ground right here and then these are the two turn signals so the light blue like i said is going to be for the driver's side so i'll just positive right over here and then you can see it's flashing and then on the passenger, the dark blue. So right there, you can see them working. And that's pretty much it right there. But this ground is gonna go with the relay ground right over here. So those are all gonna get joined right there together. And I'll do that right now, I'll tape them up so they can get close to here. And I'll close these up and I'll just leave these long so that you know we can attach the BCM. They're probably gonna be cut shorter, but for now I'll just leave them like this. So. I know which ones they are. And the reason for the diodes is also so that we don't give no feedback back to the BCM and you know damage anything. Or you can also replace this with a fuse, you know, that way if anything happens to the wiring, like an accident and you know something short circuits, it'll pop right there on the fuse. Or this will just like prevent the voltage, like let's say ground passing back to the positive side. So that's why I'm doing that right there. And we do this also make sure that you don't bend them too much because they are very thin so you just want to be careful right there you know keep them all taped up or if you're doing a fuse and a fuse holder then it'll be a little bit bigger or bulkier but they both will work all right so i already went ahead and soldered up the rest of the connections here so if you can tell all my grounds are going to be going right here to this ring terminal and the ones that didn't fit i just soldered around so they're all right here so the ones from the actual mirror LED grounds are going there and then the relay grounds are going there. And that way they'll all be grounded on one location. Other than that, you can do separate grounds. But you know, I like to have them all in one, so that's why I did that. And then all the blues and greens, so right here, they all get soldered together. So the three greens and the three blues. Two from the mirrors and then one from the relay. So that's why there's three on each side. And then I just gotta tape them up and close them up. And then other than that, you'll see the turn signals right here that I added the two separate colors. So the dark blue for passenger and the light blue on the driver's side. And then our 12 volt wire. And then there's the switch right here. But let me tape them up and we can test them out real quick. All right, so they're all hooked up now. As you can see, they're all closed up. And I'm gonna go ahead and test them out for you right here. And 
this is gonna be our ground so I have it on this white wire and then the positive is on this blue which is right over here so now the switch should have power anytime you want to press on it it'll you can do you know fold the mirrors or close the mirrors and then you can also open the mirrors by pressing and holding on the switch and it'll have power all the time you know because whenever you're pressing on it that's when it'll work right there and then other than that your turn signals will get a 12 volt signal right here so they'll flash we you know whenever they get 12 volt you try both so but that's pretty much it right there on how to test them out and if you guys like this content also don't forget to hit that like button down below and let me know what you think of this setup right here other than that now we can wire up the truck so let's get to it So here I'm passing up the five uh, foot extension right here with the threaded connectors on both ends. And I am starting from the bottom, putting in this one quarter extension all the way up and then taping it from the top and then I'm gonna pull it down. But essentially it's gonna end up in here, the wire, and then the other wire is gonna go up and come up on this side. That way it'll be like a plug and play. If you need to remove the door or remove the mirror, pretty much anything, just like from the factory where the factory plugs will unplug from here or here it'll pretty much be the same thing right there and i'm gonna attempt to see if i can pull it with one hand even though you know it might be harder it's easier to do it with two hands but i'm gonna see if i can pull it i know what you're thinking what the heck is this handsome devil doing i'm gonna twist it that way it makes it like better i did go ahead and tape it up real good so let's see if i can get it at at like this should be easier for you when you're doing it you know with two hands though if I can do it one, then it shouldn't be too hard. Just make sure you tape it up real good. There you can see it already passed. So there it is right there. And it just These are my woods. Like I said, I mean, it shouldn't be too hard. As long as you tape it up real good, then you should be good to go. It'll pass it straight. Don't, don't like tape it up on the side because it'll make it too bulky. We don't do that! As you can see, I went ahead and taped it up real straight so that it can come up like flush because I already had some other wiring, the stock wiring. And there's also like speaker wiring for my pods and stuff like that. But I'll go ahead and do that on the driver's side and then I'll go to the passenger side and do that too. And now that the wire is passing through here and, and we close up the grommet, it is gonna go in this area right over here because the original harness from the door goes like this and it plugs up in here. So I'm gonna be zip tying it here. So in case, you know, the door has to be removed or anything, it'll be with the factory plug as well. And that way they don't have to cut your wires, you know, and redo all the work. So that's also why I wanted to do that earlier, like I was telling you. Now that we're doing the wire that goes up to the mirror, we're gonna have to remove the door panel and some doors are gonna have different bolts in different spots, but most of them will be something like in this area a seven millimeter down over here most of them will have one there some of them might have them behind this lock right here for the most part that's pretty much it right there you'll slide the door up some of them might have one here but like i said every every door panel is going to be different some of you guys might have them some might not here's a better be on the passenger side how i'm passing the wire it's pretty much just coming straight and straight up so if you see the wires coming right over here and there's nothing in the way the glass and all the moving parts are on this side so as long as you stay over here you're fine and you can either tape it up to the factory wire and that way it stays in place but that'll be pretty much it on that side right there and on this side i also did have to remove this panel to pass the wire because i have this door pod that goes all the way up on the other one it was a little bit easier but they're really not hard you just gotta pry it open and you'll see and then it'll just come out as you can see i already have it over here so once both extensions are ran through the door they'll be pretty much like this the two connectors up here ready to plug into the mirror and then you'll have the other connector right here so in case you have to remove the door for any you know accidents or whatever that'll be on the driver's side and the same on the passenger side over here so the two plugs on top and then that other connector right over here and now that we do the actual wiring for the relay there'll be an extension that connects to here 
and then to the other side as well. That way, like I said, it's like a plug and play and you can service your door, your mirrors without no problems. Gator don't play no shit. You, you feel me? Gator never been about that. Never, never been about playing no shit. Up, we'll be wiring up the actual relay harness right now and as you can see my dashboard is all apart because I had the bezel off for the switch and this bottom piece is pretty simple to come off you just got to take off two seven millimeters in the bottom and you might have a brace right here that uses four ten millimeter screws but like I said I already have mine's open so this is what it looks like and as you can tell I went ahead and mounted the relays right over here and they got grounded right there so they're good in this area and they won't damage or hit anything in here or get you know tangled up so just make sure you're clear out of that or you can mount it you know somewhere down here or wherever you have space in your dash but other than that you can see that we'll just have to power it up with a 12 volt wire and then the two turn signal wires are here my switch is already right over here it's just hanging but i'll be running it up and as you can see the extension for the Passenger side is here on the floor, so I just gotta tuck it up under the carpet and plug it in where we ran it over there. And the driver side was easy, so it was just right through here. And you can see I already connected it right there. So let me go ahead and start off with the power wire. The power wire we're gonna get right over here. If you see in this area, right up in here, there's some power wire, so we can use the red wire or the red and white wire, those will work. And either you can tape them up and solder them, or you can use like, you know, different connectors, but I would prefer solder. So that's what I'm gonna do right there. All right, for the turn signal, so it's gonna be on the brown connector right here. And it's gonna be the dark blue and the light blue. The dark blue is gonna be for the right turn signal and then your light blue is gonna be for the left turn signal. And they're right next to each other right here on the bottom. Uh, pin seven is gonna be the dark blue and then pin six is gonna be the light blue. So that's what we're gonna be using right there. These two right here on the turn signals. All right guys, so as you can see, my power wire is already done and it's already loomed up. Like I said, it was hooked up to the red right here or the red and white, these two thick wires. Those are all 12 volts, so that's where you want to get your power from. And my fuse is sitting right here. And for the turn signals, I am going to be using the brown connector that goes into BCM right here in the first spot. So when it goes inserted just like this, the wires, whenever it's plugged in, you'll see them on the top side. So it'll be the two dark blue and then the light blue. That's why I had used those colors before. And you can see right here where I tapped in. They're already soldered in place, so my dark blue is with the dark blue. That's for the passenger side. And then the driver side is gonna be the light blue wire. And you'll see them right here on top, those two pins right there. So right up on top right there. And this is exactly how it goes plugged into the truck. So these go on the top side and then the big tab is gonna be on the bottom. And I'll also have the picture on top of the screen so that you know you know which pin location right there and they're b6 and b7 so on top you can see right here there's a b on it and then this bottom one would be row a so row b on top which is the one that we're going to be using and they're right in the middle so those two wires right there that light blue on the left side and then on the right side that dark blue so just make sure you're tapping into the correct pins and also make sure you're doing a good connection right here for the first time once you have all this set up and you plug it back into its spot it might give you a hyper flash let me see if i can do it real quick so, so once you plug it in right all right now that's plugged in and if you try your truck out just to test out the leds so let's say you're doing the turn signals. As you can see, they're hyper flashing. It's flashing faster. You can see right over here as well. The LED is hyper flashing. That's normal. So whenever you turn on the truck, it'll reset the connector because we just unplugged it. And remember, we are hooking up to the BCM, so.
wanted to, you know, wanted to know right there. So now you can tell that, you know, it's flashing correctly. You can see my dash is already back together. The mirrors are on and everything is working functional, but I'll go ahead and try them out for you. Also, my dash switches are right here, as you saw earlier. And I did get my round switch late. This is the one that I was talking about that's easier because you can just drill a circle hole instead of doing the square hole. But both of them will work, whichever one you like, you know. Maybe I'll change it later, I don't know. I, I mean, I got it late, so that's there right there. Everything's already wired up, but I can go ahead and test them out before. So you can see the passenger is working, my driver's side working, the puddle lights, pretty much everything. And I can, you know, even with the truck off, it'll have power, so. You close them and then open them and it's not going to drain the battery because only when you press on the actual button is when they're going to be working so you should be good on that don't worry about like any issues like that so let me know what you think down below in the comments and that's pretty much it for this video so i'll see you guys in the next one work on lost in a little minute cut from a different cloth build different yeah Feel different. We've been outside and I'm still with it. Out the mud, I'ma shine, I'ma still get it. Cut from a different cloth. Feel different. Feel different. I define it. Going up, yeah, I'm climbing, not declining. Every time I see you whining, I'm reminded I'm in Atlanta like I'm Wiley. You know we wild. Uh, north side rapping, that's from uptown to Hampton. I just dropped the real shit and let the street stamp it. You cut from the cloth that a bum wipe his hands with. I'm cut from the cloth that the threads of a champion. The main goal, make the dream come true. Take this shit to the top and the team come too I just gotta score more, that's what we up to I just check the scoreboard, look like we up too 